Hey everyone, I'm Enrico from Jumpy Anthony Company. Today, we're gonna to be taking another look at Alan Heath's DLive Director Software. In this video, I'm gonna cover the system page for you. And before we jump in, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you see when we put out more videos on DLive Director. So first thing we're gonna take a look at is our USB drive location. This is for saving your show files and for saving your library settings. So you're just gonna go and like you normally would, just choose the folder where you would like to save this or if you have an external drive plugged in, you can choose that as well. I recommend something like a Dropbox folder, that way you have a cloud backup in case you need it. And from there, we have our touchscreen options. You can see right now when I pull up my touchscreen, that it's kind of in a fixed position and it's a fixed size. So let's head back over to system and I'm going to enable windowed mode and I wanna change the size. So what we're going to do is take our fader and just drag it all the way to the right so I get my biggest option and make sure you hit apply when you're done. It'll take a second to pull it up and there you go. If I'm working with two displays, I can go and I can drag this over to my other screen, or if I'm working on one, I can always keep this up and have it in conjunction with the main tab. From there, we have our online and our offline mode editors. Online, I covered this in our first video with the pairing process. You'll see a mix rack and a surface listed down here with their appropriate IP addresses. So select what you would want to connect to, and then either one of these options, pull setting from unit or push setting to unit. Pull setting from unit will take the settings of your mix rack and bring them into director, whereas push settings will take your director settings and push them to your mix rack. Select the appropriate one that you want and then hit connect. If you're working in your offline editor, you're going to select your mix rack, you're gonna select the appropriate cards that you're going to be using. If you're using a DX32, you wanna make sure that that's enabled and select your appropriate analog or digital I.O. For the surface, you're gonna repeat the process. Select your surface. If you're using a card, make sure you select that card. And again, if you're using a DX32, make sure you have that set up and connected. When you're done doing this, you wanna make sure that you hit apply so that you change the configuration of director. Last little checkbox we have under here, is show basic setup dialog on application start. This is gonna prompt you to select your mix rack and your surface when you open up director. If you're using the same configuration in most situations like a tour, a fixed install, or a house of worship, you may not ever need to change these settings because you're probably using the same mix rack and surface. If you got rid of that setting, which you can do from that dialog box and you wanna bring it back, make sure you check the box so you can have that if you want. Next up, we've got our manual. And this is a manual specific to the DLive Director software. There's not many differences between running a mix rack and the Director software, but this is kind of the stuff specific to Director. These are gonna be the things like your system requirements, and you'll have things like the IP addresses for pairing. That's the kind of stuff that you're gonna find in here. And then last up, nothing super exciting. We just have our little About button. This just lets me know that I'm on DLive Director version 1.85. So that's everything for our system tab. In the next video, I'm going to cover all of our different tabs for the touchscreen and go in depth on them for you. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer and help you out. If you haven't already, please subscribe to JBA University. Again, hit that bell so you find out when we put out more videos on DLive Director. Really appreciate you watching. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.